Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Good morning. 6.58 a.m. Rockport, Texas. Home sweet home. The Wally World parking lot. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, I live full time in my F-150. Got a Lear topper on the back. Woke up probably 40 minutes ago. Got washed up. Put on my cleanest dirty shirt, as Chris Christopherson likes to say. And I'm going to head down to the water. Sunrise should come in about 10 minutes. We'll take a look at that and uh, call it a day. Go back to uh, staring at the water and eating bonbons, huh? <laughs> I still don't know exactly what a bonbon is. It's uh, very high humidity. That's why we're getting streaks in the windshield. My windshield's about as clean as it's going to be. But uh, it's kind of got Texas all over it. I think the current temperature right now is in the 80s. You can see. Well, there it is. There's a sunrise coming up. Thought we'd go catch that. We didn't get a whole lot of colors this morning like you might on a uh, pretty sunrise. A lot of oranges and things like that. Oranges and pinks. But sunrise is still a sunrise, right? Maybe we'll go down uh, by some of the bait stands in Fulton, Texas. We're just a couple blocks away from Fulton, Texas. The Twin Cities. Rockport, Fulton. Home of the Rockport, Fulton Pirates. Which I still, still think is kind of a an odd name for a mascot. Didn't pirates rape, murder, and steal? <laughs> My high school wasn't any better. We were the Ridley Raiders. And I believe our uh, mascot was some type of Mohawk Indian, if I remember correctly. I know it was an Indian, a Native American, one of the indigenous people. And we decided that that was going to be called a Raider. R-A-I-D-E-R. -E Yet the football team, the Raider, the Raiders, are, their logo is actually a pirate, isn't it? So we've come full circle on that theory. <laughs> There's a dog. Excuse me, sir. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. How much to pet your dog? And do you take Venmo? <laughs> down by the water I'll shoot out the side window in a second well, I won't shoot it out but I'll video out of the side window here's another dog it's a dog day I do love dogs he's going slow enjoying the sunrise yeah, I think we'll go up to the bait stand here and have a chat and watch the sun come up. My camera does make it look brighter than it really is. So I apologize for that. Right here is uh, Fulton Mansion. Tourist destination if you uh, are coming to town. I'm surprised how many locals I've never been inside Fulton Mansion. I just think that's a little uh, little odd, but I'm originally from Philadelphia, and a lot of people there have never gone inside Independence Hall. So I guess it's the same thing. <clears throat> I see the fish are jumping. I'll let you listen to the water slosh for a few seconds. Yep, 
you know, I got a joke and I looked and I think it was from George. Not um, not the regular George that leaves joke, but a different George. Good morning, George. Good morning, Georges. And George said, when you lose something at the nursing home, there's a Eugene right there behind that pole. See the crooked pole? There's a Eugene or an egret there. George said, when you lose something at a nursing home, make sure you check under every nook and granny. <laughs> every nook and granny. Hey, Eugene. Eugene is a blue heron, and uh, Deborah said blue herons cool themselves in the heat by urinating and defecating on their legs. And then as that evaporates, it provides a cooling system similar to when we sweat. And I... I had to look that up a little bit to verify that. And the main way they cool themselves is to open up their wings and let out the hot air and let the cool air in. But yes, storks, cranes, will use their urine and excrement for evaporation cooling, same way we use our sweat. And I think I'm gonna stick with the sweat, guys. It just seems a little more, uh, I don't know, a little more civilized. But there's our great blue heron, Eugene. And he's got a little, few little buddies out there helping him out, which is nice nice to have friends along I also was watching um, a channel last night very nice lady puts out food for squirrels and raccoons and even has a ring-tailed uh, cat up there in Texas Hill Country and as the squirrel was eating on her deck it was laying down flat. And I was had to Google, why would a squirrel lay down flat? And they, I believe it was called splooching. And what squirrels and other small animals do is they'll lay down on something cool with their bellies on it and their arms and legs spread. And uh, that's one way they can keep cool. I'm just surprised her deck was cooler than anything else in the area. And there's a link to that channel and I'm drawing a blank right now. This lady makes wonderful videos. Dreams of Violet, something like that. You know what, I'm gonna have to look up that video and put it in my uh, community page. So today's gonna be a fun day. 7.06 a.m. right now. Probably slept about three or four hours last night. Let me have a sip of my coffee, please. Hold on. Go ahead. Everyone ready? Got your coffee, got your tea, got your water? Chug. Go. Hmm. Oh. My coffee is a packet of instant coffee and a bottle of reasonably cold water. And it cleanses my soul. <laughs> no, no one's out today enjoying the sunset. It's a work day and it's a week after the holiday. <clears throat> I think I slept about five hours total last night. Woke up quite a bit. It wasn't particularly hot. Just don't know why I didn't sleep.
Right before I started, I looked up the official sun sunrise. And uh, I already forget it. I think the heat was getting to me a little bit yesterday. I started to get a, a headache. But I'll tell you, when the sun went down, I, I filmed a nice sunset uh, last night. And when I was done filming it, riding back to Wally World from the beach, I had my air conditioning on and I was drinking some ice water. And for about 15 minutes, I felt like a normal person. <laughs> I felt human again. Well, there is cloud cover right out there. My truck is saying it's 84 degrees right now at 7.09 a.m. I think the sun came up right behind those clouds straight ahead. And it might need another, well, I'm sure you guys all know this trick. If you want to see what time it is, you put your hand on the horizon and that's an hour. So if the sun was right where my thumb would be, you can really get an idea what time of day it is. And I usually use it uh, when I'm out running around and I want to film the sunset. I'll be like, okay, one. So the sun's going to set in about an hour and a half. Little, uh, little trick of the trade there from uh, boondocking with Dennis. <laughs> There's a bait stand right behind us. And it's pretty quiet there this morning. We're just south of Fulton Harbor. Just a few hundred yards south, as a matter of fact. Yeah, you can see the sun. See where it's getting pink right there in the center? There's our sun coming up for us. Coming up to say good morning. Thursday morning coming down. Thursday morning coming up. They say Monday or Tuesday we're going to get uh, some rain. And maybe a little bit of uh, cloud cover. Make it a little bit cooler. I look at weather reports like I look at Bigfoot videos. I believe it when I actually see it. <laughs> There's the sun, guys. There she is. There she is. See the little top over there? Oh, that'd be cool if she comes right up in that little opening that the good Lord has created for us. Here comes the sun, doo -doo -doo -doo. Here comes the sun, and I say, Dennis can't sing. Do 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 do. And there's your sunrise. My big plans for this morning are to run into Wally World and go do one load of laundry if the laundromat isn't crowded. There's your sunrise, kids. Not bad. Thanks for riding along today, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>